I think it's time we addressed a serious issue. Hey, what's up, Italians? I'm back, and first things first, I wanted to apologize for not uploading in like nearly five months. I, I had show choir and our spring musical and air testing and so much other crap that I had to deal with that I just didn't have time for YouTube. But here we are, and YouTube video. Okay, so Dear Evan Hansen, it's a thing that exists. When I first heard this musical, I freaking fell in love, oh my god. And I knew I loved it, and I, need, I knew that I needed to tell you than Italians, why I loved it so much. So I put together a concise four reasons why I loved Dear Evan Hansen so much. And today in this video essay, I'm gonna be telling you why I love Dear Evan Hansen so much. Part one of one. First reason, social anxiety slash isolation. I really feel for Evan Hansen because Evan Hansen, first of all, Evan Hansen is a senior in high school and he doesn't have that many friends and he feels like He's on the outside all the time, and he's trying, and he's like looking into the crowd. And he doesn't have a lot of friends, and he just and he feels very isolated. And when he sees the opportunity to get to make friends, I guess, and have a have a have the nuclear family unit, he jumps at it because he's so hungry for that opportunity. And he because he never had that because his, his dad left when he was really young. His mom works all the time, so he's by himself a lot. And he doesn't have friends at school, so he doesn't really have anyone he can talk to. And I feel for that a lot. Like, I, when I'm at school, I, there's no, I don't really have a lot of friends at school. And there's not, there's not really a lot of people I can talk to about stuff. Like, I mean, I don't have a lot of people I can talk to. So I feel, I feel for Evan. Like, I feel his isolation, and I understand his, um, his struggles. And the message of this show is so, so amazing that, like, you will be found the last song of the first act. That when the chorus comes in, with even when the dark comes crashing through and you need a friend to carry you, when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. That struck a chord with me. Like, I was on the bus to a show choir competition when I first listened to it. During Disappear, that's when I started to cry because that message hit home for me so much because no one deserves to be forgotten. And that just struck such a chord with me. And I feel like I, and I identified that I am Evan Hansen. I feel like, I feel like that's me, um, I feel like that's me singing, except it's a guy, and Ben Platt, and amazing, and, uh, I Ben Platt, and <laughs> I, I identified with it, and I, I felt, I felt at home listening to it, because it was, it was so real for me, and it, it struck a chord with me, and I, I definitely identified it with it, so, it's reason number one, the isolationism, I feel it. Reason number two, suicide. Okay, so this is kind of going into spoiler territory, but, you know, shh, sh let's go with it. So, spoiler alert, when uh, Connor Murphy commits suicide, um, Evan takes it, and he... I don't want to say he glorifies it, but, like, he turns it on its head a little bit, because at first, with his mom, Cynthia Murphy, Murphy she is, like, taking the stereotypical approach, like, I know you're still here even though you're gone, so I'm not gonna mourn because I know you're still here with us, I can feel your presence, like, you know, stereotypical stuff. But Larry and Zoe, they see, they see him for what a little turd he was, because he was, he was, he was so, he was mean to Zoe, and he was, like, he was not a good son to Larry, like, Larry bought him the baseball glove, and he just left it in the package, like, that, that's not okay, so they're like, yeah, I don't care that you're- I don't- it's not- well, not I don't care, but, like, it's not, like, I'm not gonna get all emotional that you're gone because you weren't super nice to me, and- and I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna mourn because why- why should I mourn if you weren't, like, if you weren't nice to me? That's such a different approach to su- to the topic of suicide that- that- than we see, like, in other forms of media, like, the approach that, like, they see this person for who they really are and not just a dead kid. Like, I think that's very unique and I appreciate that. Like, that's, that's such, that's such a, that's such a statement to put out there and I, I really appreciate that. Reason number three, the characters have flaws. So the character of Evan Hansen is kind of a manipulative little turd. Uh, he, he takes Connor Murphy's suicide and he uses it to plug himself into this nuclear family unit because he didn't have anything like that. Like, he uses a dead kid to try to get with his, like, childhood sweetheart, and, like, that's- that's not cool. You feel for Evan, though. You feel- you feel what he's going through. Like, you support him through his portrayal. Like, 
Pace and Paul and Michael Grief and all these people who like work on Evan's character, Ben Platt even, he, they portray him in such a way that you are on his side even though he's doing like all these not, maybe not so great things. Like you're with him, you support him trying to get with Zoe through Connor. Like you like you support him through all that. And I think I think it's really neat that like these characters have their flaws, yet they're still so likable. Like, I think that's I think that's really neat. It shows that like they're human and they make mistakes too. And Evan admits to his mistakes at the end with words with words fail. Oh my god. And <laughs> he admits to his mistakes and he admits that he was in the wrong and there's no excuse for what he could have what there's no excuse for what he's done. And I think it's really neat that they show that he is a human and he's not some perfect angel just with social anxiety so he's an outcast so I think I think that's really neat and reason number four the music the music is just so gosh darn great Pasek and Paul are freaking geniuses I love these songs these songs are so good I was gonna use waving through a window for an audition seriously <laughs> this music is just it's so amazing it tells the story beautifully the the modern touches like in Requiem the the tech the with Zoe's background vocals when it bleeds into her actually singing like, oh my gosh, that's just, that's genius. And I love ben Pace and Paul's other work, like Dogfight, it was so, Dogfight, I was gonna use that song, another song from Dogfight for an audition, and La La Land, don't even get me started, like, Academy Award winners, Pace and Paul, <laughs> This music, it tells a story beautifully, and, and I like that, like, it tells, it moves the story forward, and I definitely really appreciate that. So there you go. Four, four, four reasons why I love Dear Evan Hansen so much and why I'm such a trash bag. I want to know your reasons for why you like Dear Evan Hansen so much, if you like as much as I do. I, I would love to hear your reasons. Please put them in the comments below. I love reading them. And if we could tweet this video to the people of Dear Evan Hansen, that would be, that would be so amazing. I would love for them to see this. If you all could help out tweet this video to the people at Dear Evan Hansen, that would be so amazing. Well, that's all for today. Catch you on the flip side, homies. You feel for him, you feel Evan's struggle, even though he's doing, like, 